It is wonderful. It is wonderful to see all of you. Walking around the tables, I saw friends from back a long ways from when we were kids and lots of old friends and, and I met new friends today. And I want to say one of the new friends that I met today, she's the new president of Aquinas College and her name is Alicia Cordova. So I thought I'd mention her name. So welcome, we're so happy to have her with us. But it's wonderful to see you all right here on our campus again. It's been a long time. And And you look great. <laughs> We've missed your presence with us. It's, that part's been sad not to have you with us. Some were with us every Sunday, and uh, we miss you. But we continually hold you in prayer. We are committed to one another. And we appreciate your presence here today. We are family, and we act like family. Can't you tell? We're family. So let us pray. Loving God, we thank you for always being with us on our graced journey. We are grateful for faithful friends, for heartfelt conversations, for the breeze, and for the gift of finding you in one another. We are fed and nourished by these friendships. We are feasted with love and understanding. We ask you to bless this food, which we have already enjoyed, <laughs> and which is blessed by the sun, the earth, and loving hands. Because we believe that life is meant to be embraced, enjoyed, and celebrated, we gather. We gather in unison, also with those who cannot be here with us. We are also mindful of those who hunger today for food and for love in their lives. We ask your blessings on all of us. We are grateful for this beautiful campus for this day of getting together, for this campus that is filled with life, reminding us of your love. May it continue to be a campus of many blessings for all the days to come. May preaching your word and your love never cease. This we ask in Jesus' name. Good afternoon, everybody. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Bob Sadowski. My wife Mary and I have been journeying with the sisters for many years as friends, as Dominican associates, as members of the Sunday Assembly, and also as members of the Veritas Society for Planned Giving. Now, it has been difficult these past few years 
trying to keep connections strong through Zoom meetings and emails, rather than being able to spend face-to-face -face time with the community that we love. But now that the curtain of COVID separation is finally lifting, because a strong wind is just blowing it away, I think of Simon Peter's words at the Transfiguration. It is good to be here. And it is good to be together supporting the Dominican family. Right now, we are in the midst of a transition with only hints of the fullness of the transfiguration to come. We see the future as through a glass darkly, unsure of what our future opportunities and ministries will look like. But we have no doubt, absolutely no doubt, that the Dominican mission will pull us forward in new and exciting directions guided by the Holy Spirit. To praise, to bless, to preach. This is who we are and who we will always be. Our mission is what unites us. Our mission is the bedrock which shapes our love of one another and our love of God's creation. And it shapes our commitment moving forward. Praising, blessing, preaching, will find new expressions in our post-pandemic world. And we are just now only beginning to explore and develop the new opportunities and the new potentials that this next chapter will bring into all of our lives. I, for one, have the conviction that our commitment and our mission will grow in new and exciting ways. Just as the disciples were transformed by the Spirit at Pentecost, so the Spirit is calling us to be transformed by our vision of the Dominican mission and the needs of the age. So Mary and I are honored to be journeying with the sisters and the associates and all of you as one Dominican family. Together with the sisters, we will continue to enflesh the call to praise, to bless, and to preach in unexpected and vibrant ways to come in the future. And I hope each of you will consider other ways that you can join with the sisters and with us. I invite you to learn more about associate life or about becoming a member of the Veritas as a planned giving donor by visiting the tables at the back of the tent here. And I thank you for your attention. Good evening, everyone. I kind of feel like I'm at a ballpark or someplace. <laughs> so on behalf of the leadership team, Sister Joan, Sister Maureen, Sister Megan, and myself, Sister Sandra, I thank you all for being here. It's so wonderful to see you all. It's great to be together. And you know, uh, the last time that we were together outside under a tent, it was a really windy day. And so once again, you're going to have wonderful pictures of everybody with hair all over their faces. So it's just, just another great event, <laughs> all right? But it is good to have you here as we celebrate our, our move to our new mother house, transitioning from one mother house to the next one. It's a new leg on our journey and in our relationship with you. I'd also like to thank Bob for his wonderful words that are not only inspirational, but I would say they're on fire, just as St. Catherine of Siena has urged all of us to be on fire with the love of God. Bob, you are truly embraced by the Dominican charism and Dominican life. We're overjoyed to have Bob and Mary and all of our associates 
and all of you here joining us this evening, walking with us together, will keep that fire lit and burning brightly. And as one who walks with us, let me remind you that if you woke up this morning, you are in mission. Now, do you remember hearing those words? Sister Mary Ann Barrett shared those words with us at, ad at our adventure event last December. I know many of you joined us virtually. You were there and you heard them. Well, every day that we wake up, no matter how we feel, is a day to give thanks and praise to God. And it's a day of mission, not our own mission, but God's. And what a wonderful thing that we are in all of this together. Another good reason to give praise to God. Yay, let's give him praise. <laughs> all right. And what does it mean to say that we are in mission? Well, it means many things. One thing is that as followers of Christ, our lives are for Christ, for service, for one another, and with one another. The four Dominican pillars say it all. Prayer, study, community, and service. As Dominican sisters, we carry our mission with us wherever we go. From the Montana prairie to the high plains of New Mexico. From the streets of Chicago to the barrios of Chimbote, Peru. At Aquanada Hall and Marywood. We carry the mission with us even when we are only moving across the parking lot. Yes, while many of us no longer have an active ministry, we remain in ministry, in mission, as our very lives are a witness to the love God has for all humanity. And you, good friends, are part of this mission. It is a mission of faith and perseverance in the face of what is unknown and incomprehensible, just like these last few years have been. It is a mission to be in relationship, right relationship, with our community, with our family and friends, with our Creator. It is a mission of service, a mission that is in motion even when we struggle to move. It is a mission of love and support of encouragement and prayer. It calls us to live our prophetic role by speaking truths that people may not want to hear. It calls us to do or say what we may not want, but what God wants of us. Being in mission means being attentive to what God asks of us. This is different for each one of us and can change over time as our world changes, as we are needed in new ways, and as we change. Whether sister or not, each person must discern this mission. This is how we come to know what is our role, how we will answer God's call. I encourage you to take some time and find a few quiet moments every now and then, and reconnect and to pray, listening to how God wants to use you and your specific talents and gifts to make our world a better place to live. Sometimes it's helpful to do this in a new way or with a little help. Consider signing up for one of our programs at Dominican Center. This ministry offers many different opportunities to deepen your faith and be transformed. We also invite you to learn about associate life. This is a powerful avenue to move closer to the Dominican life. Or learn about Dominican vowed life for yourself or someone you know. And if you haven't already discovered our daily blessings emails, Find out how to receive one in your inbox every morning and help your, set your heart and mind for whatever that day may bring. And it's truly amazing that some days those blessings are just perfect. 
perfect for the day and the situation. You can find out more about all these ways to stay connected with us at the information tables along the back of the tent here. The sisters there will be glad to, to give you information and to speak with you and just have a little visit and conversation. And please consider sharing that information with your family and friends. There's always room at the table. So you woke up this morning, yes? yes. All right, you are in mission, yes. yes. And whatever path you take to remain faithful to God's call, we pray you continue to be in mission with the Dominican sisters. This mission is on the move, just as we are, and we are ever so grateful to have you by our side. We pray for you, and we ask for your prayers as we continue in this important work together for all God's people. And now, I would like to invite Sister Joan, well, before I do that, I'm going to remind you that there's Kona ice back there, and it's very refreshing and very good. Okay, now, <laughs> I'll invite Sister Joan Thomas to lead us in our Dominican blessing, a prayer that we offer especially for you. And this will conclude the formal part of our program, so that then you can continue in your conversation, your visits, and of course, have an opportunity to tour our new home. Again, thank you very much for being here. It's really great to see you. There you go. So are all those Dominican sisters and associates and everybody else who knows the Dominican blessing ready to go? Here we go. May God, creator, bless you. May God, redeemer, heal you. And may God, the Holy Spirit, fill you with light. Amen, and thank you. Whoa. <laughs> force of the Holy Spirit. <laughs>